Hello! Today in my fabulous world of potatoes, I'm going to show you how to make Kentucky Fried Potatoes. I'll start with 400 grams of potato, peeled and cut into slices with an average thickness of 4.75 millimetres. And I know because mm -hmm. I've measured every slice very carefully with my vernier calipers. Mm -hmm. I'll now toss them in six tablespoons of plain flour. Toss, 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 toss. Toss, toss, toss. Make sure they're all well coated with flour. Here I've got two beaten eggs and 100 grams of my Kentucky Fried Spice Mix. Now you want to know what's in this mix, don't you? Well, here it comes. Are you ready? Boom! Too quick for you? Well, it's all written down for you on my website, titliesbusykitchen.com, and you can look it up later. Take a piece of potato, dunk it in the egg, toss it in the spice mix, and then plop it straight into hot oil at 180 degrees C. Repeat. After 10 minutes of delicious sizzling, they should be cooked. Mmm, come to mama. Now there's something very interesting about Kentucky Fried Potatoes. Pay attention, here comes the science bit. There are alkaloids in potatoes, and when you combine them with the proteins in the egg white and some of the trace compounds in the spice mix, a magical transformation takes place, so that the resulting Kentucky Fried Potatoes make you, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so don't eat too many of these, and certainly not if you're under 18. Why not check out some of my other potato -y recipes, and particularly my Kentucky baked potato, which isn't quite as uh, as this recipe. Join me next time. Until then, good harvest.